Hi there, Andreas here with Express Pads Finger Drumming, and today I will take a closer look at Native Instruments Abbey Road Drummer. Abbey Road Drummer is a product family of different virtual drum kits from different eras and made for different genres. And so you'll find, um, for example, vintage drummer, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, and modern drummer. And each of these separate products contain two virtual drum kits um, that are specific for this um, era in focus. And with each of these virtual drum kits, you have a very well recorded, very well engineered uh, virtual drum kit in which you can change the snare drum um, sound. So you have three different or two different snare drums to choose from, but everything else st stays the same here. But of course, uh, when we speak about sound, you can uh, choose different presets, so mixer presets and uh, yeah, other functionalities that um, have been changed in order to give these different drum kits a different sound. What I really like about Abbey Road Drummer is um, its simplicity. So it's, it's really straightforward. It helps me to maintain a very simple workflow. And of course, most important is the sound. And I can only tell you that the sound here is really fantastic with each of these Abbey Road Drummer products. Um, not only have they been recorded in the world famous Abbey Road studios with top notch equipment, um, but you can really hear the effort that Native Instruments have put into uh, shaping these virtual drum kits because they really sound so good and uh, so balanced and so round um, with, with really great mic settings and so on. And all that helps achieve a realistic acoustic drum sound. But as I said, also workflow is really important to me. And when you look at the different pages that you have here, it's only grooves, which I don't cover because for finger drumming, you won't ever touch that. Um, but you have options and you can also see here, it's, there are not a lot of options, but you probably don't need a lot of options the way the Abbey Road drummer uh, kits are set up. Then on the kit page, you see, except the um, drum kit itself and the different presets that you can choose from, as well as the groove that you can play here, you only have an area of a few controls, which are really uh, main controls, which have a huge impact on the sound overall. And on the mixer page, um, you will also find a very intuitively usable mixer, but I will come to this in a second. So let's first have a look at the options. So here you can change the velocity curves. I tend to use the linear curve, uh, but you also have the option to use an exponential curve, which would be good for metal, where you generally need uh, loud um, drum hits. Or for jazz, I would use the exponential curve, where I want to have a more subtle, more soft sound. And I rarely use the fixed velocity curve, which uh, equalizes all my uh, hits to one uh, defined level. Also, you can change the range of volume. So the MIDI range is between one and 127. And um, so you could uh, decrease the range that you want to um, play your drums with. The next area is the MIDI mapping area, which is really important because here you will determine how your uh, virtual drum kit reacts on your input device, be it a pad controller or a uh, keyboard. So if you use the express pads finger drumming technique, you definitely need to use the general MIDI uh, mapping. There are a couple of other mappings there by default, but if you take the general MIDI mapping, then you can start right away. Um, what is also nice here is that you can choose um, to select notes via MIDI, which means that when this is selected, I can just hit a pad. And then you can see here that the, um, the kit piece in focus, so the one, last one that you have uh, hit, will be displayed, and then you can make quick changes. So for example, if I have a kick drum here, or no, let's take a tom, uh, tom one, for example, here is a rim shot articulation, but I want this to be a center shot. So I just choose it there, click the check mark, and my new mapping is there. Really nice. Uh, also, 
quite nice is the option to uh, trigger kit pieces with the mouse when you are on the kit page. I have selected that and also uh, you can show the trigger states which means that when this is selected then you will find uh, these spots on the different kit pieces when you play. Okay, the last one here is randomize. I don't use them because I play everything in real time, so no need to touch this one here. Um, finally, let's go to the mixer. The mixer really provides a very nice workflow. So, um, for example, you have the different um, tracks here, and below the tracks you can see the current uh, effect in focus. The effect in focus is the one that is indicated here, and when you go through these different effects, of course, the controls will change. And also, if you go to uh, settings, for example, for the bass drum and the snare drum, you can change the different uh, mic volumes. So you have an inside mic, you have an outside mic for the bass drum. You, for the snare drum, you have a top mic and a bottom mic and bleed. Bleed is important because um, this is what happens when a real acoustic drum kit is recorded uh, under real uh, conditions. And it means that, for example, toms, when they are hit, they capture some of the snare wire ring sound uh, that happens when air vibrates and picks up uh, the, the vibration that come from a different drum. So that's that's something that adds to the realism of a drum kit. Also you will see these different um, FX routings. So here you can change the order of the different effects that you see down here in order to have more options to tweak sound. Then you can route different uh, tracks to different outputs of contact. And finally you have some of the main tracks here like overhead, room and of course some buses. And with all these functions, which are on the one hand not too sophisticated, on the other hand um, really focus on the main topics of drum sound as well as um, with the overall great sound of the Abbey Road drummer products and the ease of use um, because of the MIDI mapping options, I think you will have a lot of fun with Abbey Road drummer. Last but not least, if you like that video, then please give it a like. And also, if you're interested in finger drumming hardware and software reviews, then um, yeah, please subscribe to the channel. And if you have a look at the ExpressPads website, there you will find a lot of information about finger drumming. And you can also learn finger drumming with the e-courses that we provide there. Thank you and have a good day.